She-Hulk, episode four. What did I think of this week's episode? What are my thoughts so far about the series? So far about the series, I've liked it. It's not a perfect series. It's not, uh, it's not WandaVision. Uh, it's also not yuck yuck all the time either. It is trying to find some balance of having, to uh, like, narrative, not narrative, having some level of relevant commentary while at the same time being a procedural show, being a superhero show, and being a uh, com comedy sitcom. And I think it's hitting its balance all right. There are times where it's trying too hard to be one thing and then trying too hard to be the other thing. I don't think this film is complete. I don't, don't think the series is completely his stride. But as far as episode four goes, I did like the episode. I thought it was a solid episode. I think my favorite episode still might either be episode one or episode three. Uh, granted, not a fan of the. Me I'm not having um, um, uh, sat on it for a while. Not a fan of the Mega V Stein uh, post credit scene last week. This week's post credit scene, though, I actually liked quite a bit. This, see, that was the tone that I think the Megan V. Stein thing was trying to go for. This quirky comedic tone that isn't necessarily leading into anything. It's just funny for the sake of funny. And it's had Wong, so you gotta love that. Uh, we are getting at least somewhat of a... Uh, a narrative through line throughout the series now, at least part of it, where we get um, Titania is basically uh, copyright suing She-Hulk. Uh, and you know what happened with that. She-Hulk beat her as revenge because She-Hulk never tried to do anything with that name. It's just the name people gave her. Um, they, uh, she's trying to copyright for, she's trying to sue her for the copyright of She-Hulk, which... <clears throat> I'm wondering how it's going to play out. I, we saw in the preview for next week, week's episode, I think it's next week's episode, Matt's finally coming in next week. So I'm getting the impression, because she can't defend herself in court, she's calling in a friend, a favor from a friend, Matt Murdock, to represent her in court. I think that's what we're going to get. Um, by the way, I think it's going to be pretty easy how uh, they're going to win that case. It's the fact that, yeah, she didn't start calling herself She-Hulk, and then people called her She-Hulk. And then people went with that. No. People started calling her She-Hulk. They basically labeled her that. They labeled that as her identity. And you can't... Like, you can't copyright my name. My name is who I am. I think, at least, I believe you can't do that. Not without... And because now that's... um, It's uh, not libel. Although it could be considered libel or slander against that person. So... It's, and I don't, I have bare bones knowledge of the court system, and even I can figure that out. Uh, so, like, how this woman thinks she has a case against She-Hulk, I don't know. Um, but regardless, I, I don't know which I liked better, because I didn't love either subplot of, uh, Jennifer going on dates as She-Hulk and just dating, dating your 30s is a nightmare. I would, I wouldn't know. I've been in a relationship since before I turned 30. Um... Knock on wood, I wanted to find that out. Uh, but, yeah, I I did like most of the running jokes about, the, you know, people, the one guy, people just not knowing how to interact, or the one guy, he's like, you, or do you have a this, this, this? You are a specimen. It's like, you call me specimen? as a compliment. <laughs> and then you meet the one guy who apparently is only interested or in, attracted to her as She-Hulk. Um... And, you know, I, my dad and I, we got a good laugh for when she picks him up. And he's just like, ah, oh, oh, it's like, ah. Uh, and I'm just thinking about the future Rama lines. It's like, I would be so scared out. I'd be so aroused yet scared at the same time. Like, she may very well break him. And he's not going to complain. Uh, and clearly she didn't break him. Um, <laughs> and, the, and you know what? Obviously, I've never been in this position. But the scene where he basically says, yeah, I'm going to go, and that's, and she realized exactly what happened, and yeah, you know, so many women kind of do have to deal with that, and that's crap. You know, guys, guys, be upfront with what you want, women. Some women just want what you want. Maybe they just want to get, maybe they just want to hook up. You know, it's not that hard, but don't. Don't sell yourself as something and then show that you're something else. That's that's dishonest, and that's just going to basically screw over your dating life for a good long while. Um, 
so yeah, I I did like Wonka. I was like, oh god, I, I see why I see you were busy. I feel like I'm your father right now. The Wong thing. People have been, I've been hearing people kind of say like Wong is kind of what's the best? It's kind of dumbed down in the show just a little bit. Like, why would he have to file a like a court, uh, like a, a lawsuit against someone to copyright magic? Like that? No. Like I watched someone explain. It's like, no, if this guy is abusing the mystic arts, like literally putting people in danger, you're a source of supreme Wong. That will fall into your pure view, purview of going there, taking his sling ring, so he can never do that bullshit again. Uh, now, I think he could would would have still summon the uh, the dove demon egg, whatever the little demon thing from the egg. I still think that would have happened because he didn't seem to use a sling ring for that. Uh, as for that whole plot point with the jo Donnie Blaze, I was wondering if that was going to be like a knock on Johnny or nod to Johnny Blaze, but it wasn't. Uh, I don't know. I, on one hand, I, I do think it's something that makes for a entertaining, uh, you know, case of the week kind of thing, which is a little bit of what you want in this uh, show, certainly. But at the same time... Again, it just comes down to Wong. You didn't need legal view. You're the Sorcerer Supreme, Wong. You can do something about this without having legal, you know, legal matters brought into the fray. So, I don't know. It's just, something about it rubbed me the wrong, I, something about it didn't sit right. Plus, oh god, Madison with two D's and a Y, but not where you think it is. Uh, I... When she was bouncing off of Wong, she is a, she is kind of adorable. She is kind of adorable when bouncing off, particularly in the end scenes. They were just naming drinks. Like, nope, nope, oh, yeah, I have that uh, vodka in yak's milk. We had it, uh, I'll have some left over from the wedding, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, like, the fact that Wong, Source of Dream, it's a big old TV. It was a, it's good, it's a yeah, you ruined the Sopranos. I will get my revenge, Johnny! <laughs> Ah, yeah. Um, Wong has to be catching up on The Sopranos of all things. He's been in Carpetage for so long. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, but, like, when Madison is just talking on her own, like, when she's on the stand, or when she's on stage, I, yeah, yeah, that, the hot party, ooh, I, mm, no, no. Uh, there's only so much of that I can take, and I don't can't take much of it to begin with. So yeah, again, I'll I, once again I'll stay say as I've said before, the effects on Shield are fine in certain scenes. When she makes that face in the phone, for example, like that, like like seriously, that um that did not look good. Uh, when she, it's and like when she um is about to go in to kiss him, the guy on the couch, you can tell that looks. It doesn't quite look right, uh, and I get. And again, it's a TV budget, it's a Marvel budget, but it's a Marvel movie budget. Let's assume like a two hundred million dollar budget, stretched over nine shows. I mean, you do the math; that's a little over twenty million dollars an episode. That's actually not. I mean, that's expensive for television, sure, but yeah, for the effects work that they need to do in Marvel, a lot of times that's not as good as you might think. Um, and we've seen that happen in other shows, too, where the effects don't always look the best. You know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Again, it's, and I don't even think this is the worst her effects have looked. In other scenes, she looks fine. She looks just fine. I like when she's fighting the bat demons and all that. Um, yeah, I will admit, it's a, it was a pretty nice return to entrance where you just read a book, and she just lands, uh, lands on him, almost like a pouncing cat. On It's like, hi. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, uh, yeah. You got something there? Oh, yeah, that's Demon Beck. It was like, oh, cool, yeah. <laughs> that explains that. <laughs> just takes him to bed. Whoo! Uh, that's that's a night he's not forgetting it for the rest of his life. I know I wouldn't. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, that was another thing, too, that people brought up that I agree. Is like, wait, how did you... You know she's not always She-Hulk. You, you clearly have heard of her. So... Yeah, like, it, she can, you know, she can turn into She-Hulk again. It's the iron a great idea that what if part of, like, at least the next two or three episodes, 
would have been her having relation this guy, relationship with this guy, but he was more attracted to She-Hulk than he was Jennifer, not the two of them together. So, yeah, I, I, I would have liked a little bit more of that. That would have been nice. But look, ultimately, despite all the problems I... Man, sorry. I just drank something and, um, like, not gas, but I'm just um, processing it. Uh, so if I, and I'm doing the, oh, uh, uh, I'm going uh, a lot. Uh, I've also got a little bit of a headache cause I, I have eaten today, but I, uh, there was a, there was an issue that got resolved that forced me to not have breakfast and not, and have a late lunch. So I am a little heavy headed right now. Uh, and, and I did it again, uh, hope to God I'm not doing this when I record the what if later. So. Ultimately, I did like the episode. I do think it's a good episode. I will even go so far as to say this. It's not the worst. I think the second episode is actually the worst episode. Uh, and when I say worst, probably the least entertaining episode, in my opinion. It's, I don't know, something about that episode just, like, I like a lot of stuff in it, or some stuff in it, anyway. I like the Blonsky stuff. Um, uh, Jen getting the job, getting fired, like that, that stuff's funny, but her whole family dynamics, except for her, seeing her dad, which was nice. Ah, uh, that was an art fun scene too, where it's like, hey, dad, I'm a Hulk. It's like, yeah, it's like, uh, what's the shell for? For the bodies. It's like, dad, I'm a Hulk. Uh, and look, uh, if they do come back, I'll kick their asses. And hey, you get to use the shovel. <laughs> I did like that. They came after my daughter. Uh, I was like, yeah, but your daughter's a Hulk. It's fine. Uh, so we don't, so that's another thing that we have no idea who's after her blood yet still. All we know is right now she's got to deal with Tatiana right now, or Tatiana, uh, Titania right now. Uh, Tatiana's her first name, the actress's name. Uh, the, the, but we've got to deal with Titania right now. Now, is she possibly the one who wanted her blood to make her be like the best superpowered influencer there is? I doubt it as she's put it, uh, doing a lawsuit, but, but. She did cop, you know, and put, just put this guy right now. She didn't copyright She-Hulk, or she's at least trying to. What if part of that is to become She-Hulk, take her blood, and turn into a Hulk? What if that's what... Look, I'm not saying that's what happened. Uh, we've barely seen anything of this character to get an idea of how intelligent and savvy she is. But if she is more like a influencer, not like the leader kind of villain, and it's very possible that her lackeys could just be these dweebs that have as that have Asgardian work tools. That's not an impossibility. Alexa, I'm turning into the Hulk. I, I can saturate my skin on the tears. Like, Look at my green. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know for certain. Uh, I still want to believe it's the leader. He would still make sense. He is someone who wanted Bruce's blood. Uh, but I... Look, I'm going to say it right now. It's probably either the leader or it's uh, Titania. It's one of those two. Titania for the... Honestly, the, I think the rational um, prediction I gave were to copyright it and be She-Hulk. She needs to be She-Hulk. And to be She-Hulk, she wants to steal her blood. So, mm. How she got off with just attacking that court, by the way, I have no idea. Uh, we'll, we'll see. And uh, uh, Jen even calls uh, calls bullshit on that. So we'll see what happens. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know the review at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. I'll see you next time. What did you think of the episode? Let me know in the comments below.